If you're building a brand new website, chances are you're not going to want someone to see it until you're ready to let the whole world see it. Or maybe you have an existing website and you want to make a few changes to it. You might want to put your website in what's called maintenance mode or in the example of your website that's not launched yet, coming soon mode. I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way to accomplish it and you might already have the tool in your WordPress website. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to not miss a thing while wow, I'm stumbling. It must be one of those days today all right this is going to be super easy to do and you might not know this but if you are using the elementor page builder it already has these features and even some templates built into it and i'm going to show you how to do that and use that in this video let's go ahead and jump on in so we're going to be using the free version of Elementor today. So if you don't have the pro, don't worry about it. If you are looking into pro, you can visit wpcrafter.com slash Elementor to find out all about it. Okay, so Elementor is free. All you have to do is go to plugins, click on add new, and then do a search for Elementor and you can install and activate it. On this website, I already have Elementor download, installed and activated. You can see over 1 million websites are currently being powered by Elementor and you can use it to build your entire website. In fact, that is what I do and I use along with these other 1 million websites. Now when you install and activate Elementor, it's going to add this new menu item right here, Elementor. And when you hover over it, it's gonna give you some options. So enable to enable this this feature what we're gonna do is go into tools that's where the setting is hidden and then we have these tabs you can click on maintenance mode and this is it so we have two options right here where it says choose mode we can put this in coming soon mode or we can put this in maintenance mode it's basically gonna give different instructions to a search engine that might visit your website but to your website visitors there's gonna be very little difference so for coming soon and you can click on either and it gives you a little description of what the difference is between the two. And then right here you have an option to say who can actually access the site. So I like to leave this to logged in people on the website. So the login form will still be there. And you could also choose a custom role if you wanted, if you have multiple users logging into your website. And then right here you choose a template. Now I created a template already for this example, but I'm gonna show you how to create a template real quick. And then we'll come right on back to this. So I'm gonna first go to my templates right here. I'll go ahead, click on add new, and then what we need to do is first choose page right here and then give this template a name. So I've named it coming soon template. I'll click on create template and now what it's going to do is put me in the element or page builder so I can start building this page. Now for a coming soon page or maintenance mode, you don't want your, your website's navigation or the footer. You typically just want the content. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on something called canvas mode and that's going to essentially give us a clean slate here. So I'm going to click on the the settings wheel on the very bottom left and then right here it says page layout and right now it says default but we're going to switch this to Elementor canvas now when I do that you're going to see a slight refresh and now the header is gone the footer is gone it's just a blank slate now one of the nice things about Elementor is it has page templates in it so if I click on this folder right here it's going to show me some templates that are included with this free version of Elementor some that have the badge that says pro or only if you have Elementor pro but don't worry we're not going to need that in this video so you can scroll through this but what's going to be easier is using the search option right here where it says search and i'm going to enter coming soon okay now that i've entered coming soon you can see all the coming soon templates that come with elementor now the difference between the pro templates and the free templates are simple it boils down to a few features that are available in the pro version such as countdown timers and email capture uh, forms. So 
you can see in this example right here, there's a countdown timer, and this has a countdown timer, but this one right here on the bottom right has an email opt-in form so you can collect email addresses. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, I've got the link in the video description box. Uh, so let's take a look at this one right here. Actually, uh, when you click on it, it's gonna show you a demo of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on insert. Now you might be asking yourself, I don't like flowers and I don't like these colors. Don't worry about that. You can easily change the background image. You can easily change the colors and the fonts to make this look exactly how you would want it to look for your brand. I'll go ahead and click on insert right here. And what this is gonna do is download and insert it. And you can see we have it right there. Now this image is a background image. I do have a full tutorial on Elementor if you're not already familiar with it. But you can click right here where it's blue and it says edit section. And when I click on that, you get these tabs here. The middle one says style and there's where you could change your image, but you'll probably wanna watch the 15 or 16 minute video that I've already created that walks you through all of the Elementor interface stuff to get you going. So I'm fine with this right now. I'll just go ahead and click on publish and it's just gonna take a moment. And then we're gonna get out of Elementor by clicking on the hamburger icon on the top left and then clicking on exit to dashboard. So now we have a new template we created called coming soon template. Let me show you what the website looks like on the front end right now. So this is what it looks like on the front end, but we're gonna apply this coming soon mode. So I'm gonna go back into Elementor and then click on tools, because now we're gonna actually turn it on. You could turn it on and turn it off at will. So I'm gonna click on maintenance mode, like we went through a moment ago, and where it says choose mode, I'll choose coming soon. I'll leave it to logged in, and then for choose template, I'm gonna choose that new one that we just made, coming soon template, and then I'm gonna click on save changes. Now you're gonna notice something different, and right here in the admin bar, you have this red notice that says maintenance mode is on. And what's nice about this is you will never accidentally have it on because it's right there in your face. You can't avoid it. So now I'm gonna to go to the front end of the website and I'm gonna click on refresh. But guess what? You don't see the coming soon mode. You know why? Because you're logged into the website. So what we need to do is, this is what you're gonna see so you can continue developing your website and you're the only one that has access to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the URL because I want you to see what this looks like to everyone else visiting your website. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go into what's called an incognito Nito mode with my browser. That means I'm not logged into my website or any websites for that matter. So I'm using the Google Chrome web browser and there's these three dots on the top right. And when I click on it, there's an option that says new incognito window and it's gonna open it up right here. And then I'm gonna go and paste in that URL and watch what happens. We're gonna see the coming soon mode that we just enabled, that template. And here it is, this is what everyone's going to see. Now let me show you something. Now there's another reason why you wanna do it this way. So there's an, some people they'll just create a new page, make that the home page, and remove the navigation. There's a problem with that because people could still, if they're motivated enough, access what's going on on your website. Let me show you. So here is a website URL for, for WordPress, okay? So you got the URL there and you have the slash. Anyone can enter the question mark, the S key equals, and then put say the letter A. So, and then hit enter. And what that does is it performs a search of the pages and posts on the website. And you see that? So even if I had done, just created a new page, removed the header, removed the footer, someone would still be able to actually search the contents of my website. I don't want that. Let me go into this incognito browser and try the same thing. So here I am, I'm gonna put the question mark, I'm gonna hit the letter S and I'm gonna do equals A. Uh, oops, how about that A? And hit enter and you can see it doesn't show the search results. So when you put your 
website in coming soon mode the proper way, it's going to prevent access to anyone to see your website and what you've got going on back there. So let me get out of that. And like I said, to go and take it out of maintenance mode, we'll go back into Elementor tools, click on maintenance mode and here where it says choose mode, choose disable, click on save changes. And you're going to notice that red notice in the admin bar is now gone and that's all there is to it you didn't have to install anything new if you're already using the elementor page builder it's free you didn't have to buy anything you get total design control over a coming soon page or a maintenance mode page now there are other free tools for this but you don't get that total control over the design and there are other paid options out there, but why would you pay for something that you're really not gonna use that much? And you can just use Elementor for free. If I was to pay for anything, I'd rather pay for Elementor Pro and get the countdown timer, the email capture form, and actually use it to build out my entire website. And when you look at the pricing of Elementor Pro, it's dirt cheap. Actually, I should click on the pricing tab. You could do a lot more than just what I showed you. It's only $49 for a single site. So, Anyways, if you're interested in checking out Elementor, visit wpcrafter.com slash Elementor. That's gonna actually take you to a page on my website where I tell you if you're interested in getting Elementor, I'm gonna give you a full training course that's normally $199. I'm gonna give it to you for free. Uh, all the information's right there. You could visit that if that interests you or just use the free version of it. It's fantastic. I mean, it is just that good so anyways that's all that i have for you in this video if you enjoyed this video and didn't maybe know that your tool that you're already using can do this give this video a thumbs up and remember to click on the subscribe button the notification bell to be notified when i upload new elementor tutorial videos just like this one hey thank you for watching this video and spending this time for me i can't wait to see you in the next one